Hey everybody, Skylar here, and before I get started, I just wanted to say I super appreciate everybody who's been commenting and messaging me about, uh, you know, my, my videos in the past and helping me out with uh, information on, on the last video. That was awesome. And I also just wanted to say that I, I make these videos every single day. So, um, sometimes they're just a few minutes, sometimes they're longer, depending on how much news there is. Uh, but I do make news videos in the crypto industry every single day. So if it is something you're interested in, and, or, or something that you know also appeals to you, you know, subscribing is not a bad idea for sure. And also, every single penny that goes to this entire channel, as well as um, some other projects I'm working with, it goes to uh, charity, 100%. So all the equipment that I'll end up buying, and as this channel grows, I'll, I'll come out of my own pocket. Um, this channel was act was was made just to help others. So, anyway. Is super appreciate now let's get started today I wanted to talk to you about a kind of a, a feel good ish story and and kind of talk about a, a tweet that the CEO of Binance ended up talking about how we're still at the beginning of the beginning of Bitcoin and I I really agree with this and I talk about it a lot and um, and it's and it's something I I, I really um, resonate with and and so let me just kind of throw you into the tweet and kind of talk about some other things here in a sec but <clears throat> uh, so the tweet was from uh, Eric Voorhees and he was essentially just saying how he was inspired by Binance over the past year and a half doing so well and then the CEO of Binance ended up tweeting back he's like meeting you back in 2013 was a good inspiration to start his crypto career and then a random uh, and then some other you know Twitter user ended up, ended up writing you know lucky wish I had the chance to be converted so early in the game and then the CEO of Binance ended up tweeting that's exactly what I thought back in 2013 uh, damn, I'm too late. I wish I started early like those other guys. Uh, and I will say the same thing. Uh, and I will say the same thing I heard back then. We are still early, the beginning of the beginning. And he also wrote that he's going to leave that tweet for future reference. But I, I, I really agree with that as well. Um, and uh, by the way, if you don't know Eric Voorhees, he is the CEO of Shapeshift and. You know, he recently had to let go a third of his staff, but, you know, whatever. But anyways, I, I really agree with, <clears throat> I really agree with that. And, and I also believe that, you know, like the internet, it's not, you know, it, it may not happen. I mean, you, you could have regulated the internet so tight in the beginning that, you know, we would be back you know, we'd be, you know, 15, 20 years in the, in the past, you know, we wouldn't have the, or we wouldn't have the freedoms that we have today, like things like Facebook and Twitter wouldn't exist if there was tight regulations in the beginning. And, and, but, uh, you know, I, I kind of feel like once that internet was invented, once people saw what the internet was capable of, there's no way to turn it down, to shut it down. But in the 80s, 70s, 80s, maybe, you know, 90s even, People were very skeptical of the internet, and and in the 70s and 80s and even 90s, the internet could have not even been a thing, and and you know there could be something else nowadays, or or I you know I I don't know, but I feel like the same thing is with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is so big that it's like it's going to succeed. So many people have seen the vision that they're they're not going to give up. Now. Now, whether we succeed in the next couple of years or 10 or 15 or 20 years, I don't know. I definitely think it'll be sooner than that, but but, but I really love, I mean, there's so much, there's so much of a need for Bitcoin nowadays. Uh, you know, the fact that it takes, you know, three days to send a payment overseas and, you know, if I want to send a hundred bucks to somebody overseas, if I want to send a hundred bucks, you know, and I, if I'm in California and I want to send a hundred bucks to Mexico, just you know, right over the border, it's gonna it, that hundred dollars is gonna cost me, you know, twenty dollars in fees, and it's gonna take three days to get there, and and it's just nonsense. You should be able to send money as easily as an email for sure. And the fact that we're not there that yet is kind of ridiculous. And so not only does Bitcoin solve that issue, but it's also decentralized, so we don't have to rely on these third parties to handle our money anymore and when it comes down to if we get rid of all the servers that are running you know visa and and all these banks if we got rid of all those servers and then 
all of that was running off of cell phones and smart refrigerators and you know anything pretty much with a motherboard in it uh, that would be way more efficient so like what it what it's what it's fixing is like duh yes we're like why would we not go in that direction I feel like a lot of people though they just are like well maybe it's not Bitcoin you know maybe the government is gonna have the USA dollar coin and we'll go crypto that way or we'll go digital assets that way or or I don't know but I also believe it's going to be Bitcoin because you know Bitcoin doesn't have a CEO there's no one person to make decisions you know there there has to be a consensus among, amongst you know um, amongst its users and so it just the even the way it operates is just so different and and so needed so I, I feel like you know I, I really loved this tweet and it definitely resonates with how I feel about crypto and it just you know these kind of stories just makes makes me get more excited you know Tim Draper also you know recently ended up posting about um, actually it wasn't recent it was back in 2018 but Tim Draper if you don't know him he is a filthy rich um, let's see he's, he's a billionaire I believe yeah duh, billionaire um, who is just is all in on crypto uh, he and he even says, you know, uh, there's there's going to be a move for crypto, and there's they're going away from the political currency. They call it fiat. Uh, that's the way it's going to move. In fact, let's see down here. Um, yeah, I tend to move my dollars into Bitcoin because why would I want this currency that's tied to some political force when I have a currency that's going to be frictionless and global? I would much rather have a global currency one that than one that's uh, that is sort of tied to a political force. And then he also says, he, he also compares it to the internet. The internet started the same way. It came in a big wave, and then it came crashing down, and then the next wave came concentrated and much bigger. And he suspects the same thing will be for Bitcoin. And so <clears throat> if any of you remember, um, a lot of you are, are, are old enough, but um, you know, when the 90s dot com happened, same thing. There was just, you know, thousands of these internet companies and they came crashing down. And even Amazon came crashing down. It was, you know, over $100 a share and it dropped below, you know, I think it was below $10 a share. And now it's over, you know, it's 2000 bucks a share. So, um, you know, and, and, and Amazon is fixing, you know, it's online, you know, sh shopping which is you know huge but bitcoin is the financial market so i mean we could you know 10,000 x and you know i'd be curious actually to see what the whole um uh, what the exact you know percentage would be if bitcoin took over two-thirds in fact he actually thinks that bitcoin will take over two-thirds of our um our financial markets in the world where does he say that I think he says it in here. Maybe maybe he said it in another. Anyways, I'll link to to these articles. Um, there's there's actually a, a couple of them, um, but it's kind of a bullish you know post and news, and it kind of just you know <laughs> makes me want to invest more money into Bitcoin. But at any rate, uh, I'd love to know your opinions. Or you know, write down comments down below. Tell me you know if if you're a big believer of Bitcoin, if you think it's going to take over two thirds of the you know, uh, world's financial, you know, um, transactions, uh, you know, tell me, you know, you, I'm curious what your time frames are and what your, why you think, you know, Bitcoin isn't going to get there in the next couple of years or is, or, you know, um, but leave, leave comments. I love it when people leave comments for sure. At any rate, I super appreciate it. Um, I do post these videos every single day, um, at least once a day, if not more. So, um, you know, like, subscribe if you want news and all that jazz. But appreciate it, and I will see you at the next video. Thanks. Take care. Bye.